G'day, it's Ray Salisbury here at Castle Point, my favorite corner of the country. I, I wanna show you some compositional tips, so let's go exploring. I am visiting the Wairapa coastline of New Zealand to shoot pictures for a calendar. I have been to Castle Point on previous occasions, but this time I really want to create some stunning images. I have timed the weather, the tides, the sunset times to perfection. All I need now is for the wind to die down. Well, I've made it across Deliverance Cove. The next stage is to climb the castle. Let's do it. It's pretty scary, I've done this before. It's like really steep. Hey there. Well, I've made it to the top of the loop track. I'm about to go off the track and climb right up the steep slopes over there. If you thought my B-roll footage was fantastic, you won't see nothing yet. Wait till we get to the top, you'll enjoy this view. Just wait up and hang on. Well, I made it to the top of the castle. As you can see, it's a stupendous view. I reckon one of the best in all of New Zealand, at least in the North Island here. The main thing I want to teach you now is about composition, making tiny little tweaks um, to your composition that make all the difference between an average shot and a professional shot. In this case, I'm shooting wide, but there's a lot in the composition and the lighthouse in the far distance is quite small. This is the mother of all lead-in lines. It doesn't get better than this, but there's tension at the spot. So I'm gonna move the tripod a bit to the right. I'm focusing on the wave-shaped cliff in the foreground, zooming in in live view, then pressing my back button to focus. Okay, so let's get shooting. See how the seascape fits together like a jigsaw puzzle? Awesome. Now I am zooming in closer to eliminate some elements of the composition. As they say, less is more. The lighthouse is also more prominent. Also, notice how that tension has gone. And just having Castle Point Lighthouse on its island with Deliverance Cove in the foreground. And the foreground interest, of course, is the wave-shaped cliff, which is quite amazing, really. Let's press the shutter. Okay, the sky isn't very interesting. Let's zoom in even closer. Ah, perfection. The golden hour is here, and I'm literally chasing the light. Time is running out, so I have to hurry if I'm gonna shoot the lighthouse. finished shooting on Castle Rock. Uh, we've got an hour or so before the sun sets and I want to take you up to the lighthouse and show you my favourite place 
my secret location to shoot the lighthouse at sunset. Let's do this. Hey there, this is my secret spot. I was here this morning shooting the lighthouse in the golden hour of morning. Now it's the golden hour in the afternoon. Uh, I've got a few more minutes before the sun pops below the horizon. So I just wanted to see what the shot looked like in the morning and then in the afternoon. So let's talk composition. Uh, there's a few compositional techniques I've used here. One is selecting an obvious focal point, probably one of the most photogenic lighthouses in all of New Zealand, Castle Point Lighthouse. The second thing I've done is I've added a lead-in line here around the cliffs. They lead nicely up to the white picket fence to the focal point. So that leads the viewer's eye into the scene. And the third thing, I'm crossing my fingers hoping that the wind dies down like it did this morning and I get the lighthouse reflected in the lake. Just to add something really special. Now let's talk camera settings. I've set my camera on AV, which is aperture priority on this Canon. And I'm shooting on an aperture of f11, shutter speed of 1 8th of a second. ISO 100. I've also focused on the hyperfocal distance. That's one third of the way up into the scene. Uh, that's the base of the lake in this composition. I'm using a shutter release to fire off my exposure so I don't move anything. And on the front of lens, I've got a polarizing filter just to darken the sky a bit and help the lighthouse and those white fluffy clouds pop. Now another thing you'll notice is that it's getting darker and most of my scene is now shadow so I need to shoot bracketed exposures to cover the wide high dynamic range. I'm shooting on an HDR mode which brackets my exposures plus one EV, minus one EV and a median shot. I will merge the two or three different exposures I'm taking together, layer them in Photoshop and pick out the best bit of each exposure just to flatten or tame that high dynamic range into one composition. In fact, the wind isn't dying down yet. I'm not getting the reflection I wanted of the lighthouse in the lake. So what I'm going to do is add a six stop ND filter to the front of my lens. Now that will really slow down the shutter speed and hopefully it will just average out the ripples in the lake and I might get a reflection. My shutter speed is now a whopping 30 seconds long. Here's the end result. I'm really pleased with it. The ND filter worked a treat so the lighthouse now has a reflection. Hey, here's another useful technique you can use when your camera is being buffeted by the wind. Grab a carabiner. I've got a couple here attached to the ring on my new tripod. And then hang your camera back, weighted with all your lenses and food and warm gear. Hang that off the carabiner. Like so. And now you've got a big anchor to keep your tripod from falling over. Well, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, why not subscribe to my channel, get my free ebook on landscape photography. Hey, it's time to get out of here. Check out my online courses below this video. Thanks for watching.